The seven star terror event for Chestnut is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video as well as the best builds for you to solo this Pokemon with in your game. So this new terror raid event will be running from the 12th of May until the 14th. We can hop over to Serbi and take a closer look at all the details for this raid. As it is a seven star terror raid, Chestnut will be set to level 100. It will have its hidden ability, which will be that bulletproof. We covered that in our preview article. It will be immune to any bomb and ball type moves. That's things like acid spray, things like shadow ball, etc. We covered that in the preview article. So if you want to check that out with some of the builds, that are going to be good going into this raid like the gold angle check out the video i'll link it in the top right hand corner now the moveset that this chestnut is going to have is earthquake hammer arm stone edge and wood hammer it is going to have ground coverage fighting coverage the rock coverage to complement that terra rock typing and grass coverage with wood hammer the additional moves it's going to have are iron defense bulk up and curse all moves based around boosting the defense of the chestnut so it's not a good idea to bring a physical attacker into this raid you really predominantly want a special attacker and obviously with bulk up and curse it does have the ability to boost its attack stat up as well it can never be shiny and you can only catch one of these per save file so just bear that in mind but once you've caught it you can still farm this raid for the amazing high cost items that you're going to be able to get like star pieces comet shards nuggets the pp ups the ability capsules ability patches bottle caps etc and then on top of that you're going to get a bunch of terror shards as well as the level up candies and tms as well so it's a really good raid to go after all of these item drops especially after you've caught it and once you've got the chestnut in your game you can also then shiny hunt by breeding it because it's the only way you'll be able to get the shiny in your games currently because pokemon home isn't out just yet just yet maybe next friday maybe we'll see so the first phase as i say is the 12th to the 14th and then the next phase for chestnut returning will be a week today on the 19th of may and returning over that weekend until the 21st before we get the announcement of the next seven star terror raid to access this event in your game you can just come on to your poker portal in your menu screen then down into mystery gift and check poker portal news this will connect you to the internet and you'll get a quick update on your screen just saying that all your terror raid dens are being updated and the event should be live in your game right now. After you've done this to locate the den, you wanna just come onto your map and you'll be looking for what looks like a six star terror raid den, but it will have the rock terror typing, which will indicate it is the chestnut. And as you see here, it is right there and it'll look exactly like that. So you just wanna locate it and head over to it on your map. So once you've tracked down the terror raid, the Pokemon that we're gonna feature in today's video to best solo chestnut with is gonna be Appleton. Appleton is a grass and a dragon type Pokemon. It will have the terror type in grass for this specific build with the held item expert belt as well. We've got a move set of Sunny Day, Apple Acid, Growth and Giga Drain. Now Apple Acid is the key to this move set in particular because of the bulletproof ability on the chest note. You're not going to be able to use something like Acid Spray, which is really effective at lowering the special defense on the target Pokemon by two stages every time you use it. The bulletproof gives it immunity to that, so you're not able to use it, but Apple Acid isn't classed as a bomb or a ball move, so that means you can still utilize this move, get a little bit of damage off while you're doing it, and lower that special defense on the chest node every time that you use it, and it hits through the shield as well, which is super nice, as well as ticking down the turns before you can terrestrialize and do even more increased damage. Now for the rest of the move set, you've got the sunny day there. You want to activate that because combining that with the growth will mean growth gives you a plus two boost to your special attack rather than plus one without the sun on the field. And then Giga Drain is your main attacking move because with the Expert Belt, you don't have a line of recovery there. So it gives you a way to recover your health and do big damage at the same time. The ability on the Appleton doesn't really come into effect in this raid. So you can go with really anything here. We've got the Ripen ability, but like I said, it doesn't really play too much into this raid in particular. EV spread that we've got on this Appleton is 252 in special attack and then 252 in defense. 
just to maximize its staying power as well as maximizing that offensive pressure and the rest just dumped into hp with a modest nature the build will be down in the description though if you'd like to take a closer look at it after the video and then once you've located the den you've got your pokemon built you can just go in and challenge the chestnut here we go against the chestnut turn zero we know it's going to set up an iron defense and nothing else so you don't really need to worry about that too much the other thing to keep in mind is it will nullify the stats on your side of the field after about turn six. So you can see here we're going at turn zero, iron defense, but because we're a special attacker, we don't really care about that too much. Um, the first thing that you want to do is just go for that apple acid because this is what you're going to try and rely on first of all before it nullifies all stats on your side of the field. Then you can go for that sunny day and then you can go for the growth. So we'll just concentrate at the moment on lowering that special defense on the chest note as well as kind of ticking down our terrestrializing turns. You can see it's going to go for a combination of things like hammer arm, like stone edge, but because of the defensive investment that we've got on that apple turn, we're going to be able to tank these attacks pretty well and we're not really worried because of our grass typing about the earthquake that it does have access to either so this will be our third apple acid here that we go for you can see the special defense dropping and then it will set up the shield and it goes for the earthquake which like i say we take pretty comfortably in this raid and you can see with the defensive investment that we've got appleton really really good in this battle itself but if we check a look at the stats here it's going to be minus three special defense on the chest note and we can terrestrialize now uh, or go for another apple acid if we want uh, but probably a good idea just to go for the giga drain now just to start getting some damage onto it and we can terrestrialize we're pretty safe at this point to terrestrialize we don't really need to worry too much about the chest note doing too much damage to us in this battle you can see it does decent damage there on minus three special defense so the apple acid really really useful in this in this match in particular and the stone edge coming out here you've got to worry the stone edge does have a high critical hit chance but because of our defense investment like i say we're pretty safe and here's the turn turn six that we do see those stats nullified on our side of the field so now we can safely set up the sunny day then we can go for those growths and just maximize our damage output and then after this it should make pretty quick work of the chest node this build in particular you just have to worry about the stone edge critical hits that's pretty much the only thing you need to worry about and you know in this match in particular we haven't got a partner with intimidate which would definitely help uh, against the chest note because it's primarily a physical attacker so if you get a partner like arcanine or star raptor in this case it would really help out and probably just expedite speed the whole terror rate up completely for you but one more growth after this will be plus six and then we can start attacking and this is growth number three with the sun on the field it means that we are cutting the time down that it's taking to get these growths active on the field so that means it's a lot quicker for us to kind of get set up as well and we take that stone edge pretty quickly and now you can see that we are all plus six across the board and we can start going for those giga drains and this should technically break the shield but we'll see how much it does and yeah it does so much damage so the chestnut really is quite easy to deal with against the app with the appleton um and the next giga drain is going to be able to pick it up quite easily and one more giga drain Ooh, not sunny day giga drain and we've got so much time left as well so you can see how quick it is so farming items in particular with the appleton on this chest snow it's going to be so easy for you to do in game and uh, probably one of the quickest seven star raids that we've got in chest snort didn't have the belly drum like we expected so once you've defeated it just pick your pokeball i personally think the nest ball is pretty nice because it really matches the shiny form so that's what we're going with here just a kind of a regular pokeball i guess nothing not one of the apricorn balls the friend ball totally matches but let me know down in the comments what ball you'll be catching your chest note in and uh, i'd love to hear but i do like the nest ball it does match pretty nicely especially just with the regular and that shiny form as well and then we're going to be able to get access to all of these nice item drops that we'll get from the seven star raid as well and it's as easy as that friends you're going to get a bunch of large candies like we've said you're going to get the tm you're going to get rock terror shards ability patch as well rare candy so it's a brilliant raid just to farm over and over and over again and appleton is the pokemon that you're going to want to use for this raid with this set with the item and everything like that that we've went over it is going to make it so easy for you to do in your games and uh, hopefully have a lot of fun while you're doing it and uh, once you've done the raid you're going to have yourself a nice chest note for your collection 
course it will have that mightiest mark as well which you can activate and then just enjoy your chest snort and go for a shiny hunt for that shiny chest pin which is one of the nicest starter shiny pokemon that you can get in your games and if you do want to farm this event of course you want to come to your map and the terror it will only appear once per day but you can expedite this you can speed it up by just hitting your home menu and then coming down to your system settings down into system down into date and time and just make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is off click into date and time you don't need to change anything in the screen just click through this click ok hit your home menu and then come back into the game and you'll see all the dens will respawn on the map and you'll be able to kind of locate the seven star terror raid once again and head over to it and then rinse and repeat and just farm this event for all these high cost items uh, over and over and over again until you've got as many as you want in your games so that is everything for today's video if you found it useful please drop a like on the video it does really help the video out and share it around the more people are aware of this strategy so they can easily beat this in their games and of course do hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content and do leave a comment down below and let me know if you've used something else to beat this chestnut with pretty easily in your game i'd love to hear what you've been using have fun with the event friends thank you so much for tuning in as always and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye <laughs>